So now let's see how we can use the underline tool and the strike through tool inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So to do that, first of all, I need to go to comment and to access comment section, I need to go around onto the right side and click on comment. If you don't see comment, then what you have to do is you can click on this little icon or expand this uh, section right here. Expand this section by clicking on this icon and then click on comment just like this to get the toolbar up over here on the top. So on the top, you can see that there are some options. And the third option is the underline text option. And then the fourth one is the strike through text. So if I were to click on underline, click and drag it, you can see that it underlines uh, the text right here. And I can go over, around over here and say, uh, like underline text right here to add in a comment just like this. And there you go, there's the comment. I can right click over here onto the option on the underline right here, and I can open a pop-up note and then I can set status, I can delete it out as well. So if I were to go and click and drag this and right click, you can see that I can de delete, I can reply to the comment as well and so forth. So all the options are there. I can open pop up right here and I can go around and copy the text as well. That is copy the underlying text. I can enable text selection, but that disables out the comment right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go back onto comment right here to access the tool again. So I'm going to go to underline and click and drag this out. And I can right click over here to uh, go around to properties and then set things such as color. So I can do a red underline. I can decrease the opacity right here and I can change the style of the underline as well. But this seems more like a spell spelling error effects. I'm going to go to straight. Then in general, I can go around and change its uh, uh, values right here, like author and subject, as you can see right there. And I can press OK and I can also make this default, make current properties default. Then I can go to underline right here, click and drag it, and that's what you get. Besides underline, you got this one right here, as you can see. So you got the uh, strike through text. And if I were to click and drag this, instead of the underline, you got a strike through. You get the same properties uh, otherwise. If I were to right click, you get the same properties over here as you get with the underline. And over here, you can see that there's the note to replace text. So if I were to use this one, then you can see that you get a blue line right here and a square box. So this is to notify other uh, people to actually replace out the text. So you got a different effect right here. And then what you can do is you can go around and you can see that I can say replace text like uh, uh, get support instead of get help, let's say, for example. And then there you go. So now it's the strike through. But here what you get is you, you get an indicator stating that it's a, um, it's an indication for replacement. So you can just drag this out and then there you go. So if I were to go around over here, you can see that right click and you get options like set, state, set status, properties and so forth, just like as you would with the other options. So I can go around, change it to other option and change around the opacity as I like and press OK. And that is how you can work around with the underline tool and strike through tool inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.